How are you? I hope you all doing great. Welcome back and welcome to EDES, multi online education platform. Yeah, so here we before starting our session, let's uh let's introduce myself. Myself, uh, I'm Uday Kiran. I'm your math academic specialist. I'll introduce our features and tools you have. So we have chat option with you. You can interact with me through chat with the uh, live tutors, and also there is a uh, uh, in the live class session, there are expert tutors are there. You can ask any doubts and clarify your doubts in the session. And uh, try to turn on your camera in the session and uh, turn off your audio. All right. And after the session, you will get uh, exam preparation material. Try to revise more uh, all the topics. And if you have still in doubts, you just watch the recording sessions. All right. Let's get start our session. The polynomial where we have stopped in the previous class. Uh, give me a moment. Yeah, the polynomial we have already discussed about the types of polynomial. All right, types of polynomial, and in the types of polynomial, types of polynomial based on the degree and also based on the uh, let's summarize. Uh, yeah, based on the degree and based on the number of terms we have already discussed. All right, uh, this is the first exercise and geometrical meaning of uh, zeros of polynomial where p of x the the graph. Where p of x meet at x point, x here minus one comma zero, four comma zero, then you can say two zeros. Whenever they cut at x axis, you just take this x is equal to two zeros. All right, two zeros. And depend on the graph, guys. This is what we have learned, and we just solve the x is two point one. All right. And the next topic would be relation between zeros and coefficient of a polynomial. Zeros and coefficient of the polynomial. Here zeros and coefficient of the polynomial. So we have to write. Yeah, let's let's I'll give you a brief understanding. I mean, introduction part of uh, sum of zero. Here, if the equation, all right, if the equation like a x square plus b x plus c is equal to zero, plus c is equal to zero. So sum of zeros is nothing but sum of zeros. Before that, before that, I just write one thing: alpha, beta are zeros. Are two zeros. Okay, so sum of zeros is nothing but we have to write alpha plus beta is equal to. This is the this is all those things we have learned, and you can write minus of coefficient of coefficient of x that is uh, okay. I just write here by coefficient of coefficient of x square. Okay, so we just write like minus b by a. We just write like minus b by a. All right, and product of zeros, product of zeros, alpha into beta, alpha into beta. So we have to write like constant term, constant term by. In exam, you couldn't remember the formula, then you can remember like this: constant term by x square, that is c by a. And also, we have discussed about the cubic polynomial, cubic polynomial. Yeah, here alpha plus beta is equal to minus b a by a, and alpha beta is equal to c by a. So that is the minus coefficient of x by minus coefficient of x square. Okay, sum of zeros, alpha plus beta, like this. You just mark, highlight that uh, in your textbook. Yeah, we already solved how to verify that zeros of polynomial, all those things. Okay. Okay, so we just completed that. This is for cubic polynomial. Cubic polynomial alpha plus beta gamma is equal to minus b by a. Like this, all those things we already did the verification part. Yeah, we just completed the in excess two point two. We just completed the first Roman exercise two point two two point two. In there, we just completed the first Roman, and now we'll let's start the second Roman. Okay, once again, second Roman first question. Second Roman first question. Observe carefully. Here they given, here they given one by four and minus one. First read the question. Find the quadratic polynomial. Find the quadratic polynomial. That is very 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 important. First understand the question. Whatever they asking. I just seen that some people, after seeing that one by four and minus one, they think like a alpha and beta. 
alpha and beta they substituted like this alpha plus beta is equal to 1 by 4 minus 1 that's totally wrong that's totally wrong why i'm saying that here first read the question they given the given numbers as sum and product of zeros sum and product of zeros that is nothing but sum they given sum is nothing but alpha plus beta they given 1 by 4 and the product product that is alpha into beta is equal to alpha into beta is equal to minus 1 minus 1 okay now sir i think uh, already we know we have identified sum of zeros and product of zero in the question whatever they given then how can you identify uh, how can you find the polynomial equation i mean the quadratic polynomial equation how can you find yeah there is uh, format i already given right the format would be x square minus sum of zeros sum of zeros into x plus product of zeros this is quite simple only thing is you just substitute over there x square minus sum of zeros here they given 1 by 4 1 by 4 into x and product of zeros they given minus 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 now let's simplify x square by 1 if nothing else you can take 1 minus 1 into x that is x x by 4 plus into minus minus 1 by 1 is equal to 0 okay yeah so that is, uh, that is not a complete equation you just do one thing take lcm here take lcm 4 here now the numerator become 4 into x square that is 4x square 4x square minus x minus x okay 4 into minus 1 you'll get minus 4 is equal to 0 cross multiply 0 to other side now it becomes 0 4 into 0 that is 0 finally we got 4x square minus x minus 4 is equal to 0 that is our required required polynomial equation required polynomial equation p of x all right yeah i did cross multiplication guys for your reference i'm writing this uh, don't confuse why i'm writing like this you just do the cross multiplication that is 0 by 1 cross multiply nothing but here like this all right 1 into 4x square minus x i think everyone knows right yeah the same procedure we have to apply the second one let's start the second one once again okay second one they given root 2 and 1 by 3 what is this root 2 and 1 by 3 can i take alpha beta no sum of zeros they given sum is nothing but alpha plus beta they given root 2 and the product product of 0 that is alpha into beta they given alpha into beta they given 1 by 3 all right 1 by 3 let's substitute in the formula polynomial equation x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha into beta is equal to 0 let's substitute here x square alpha beta here minus root 2 x okay and uh, alpha beta they given 1 by 3 1 by 3 is equal to 0 now take the lcm 3 here take the lcm 3 here okay so if nothing else you can take 1 here okay we should equate shall we do it on the next slide okay do it now do it here let's take lcm 3 i think everyone knows how to take the lcm right okay uh, here 1 1 and 3 is there in the lcm you should equate the lcm i mean denominator by you just multiply 3 into x square you'll get 3x square minus root 2 into 3 you'll get uh, 3 root 2 into x plus 3 already there so you just write 1 here okay after transferring 3 to the other side you'll get 0 now 3x square minus 3 root 2x plus 1 is equal to 0 you will get all right I hope everyone understood. You guys don't know how to do the LCM. Guys, LCM is uh, simple, guys. Do one thing. Okay, so that is out of uh, to the box. We have to first. Okay, I'll give you 1 by 4 plus 3 by 2 minus. Okay, first we'll start with the two numbers. Then I just. Okay, this is out of syllabus. Uh, don't worry. Those who don't know how to take the LCM, you just do one thing. So here, let's take 4 and 2 is the LCM here. 2, 2 is a 4 and 1 here, 2, 1, 1. Okay, now multiply 2 into 2, 2 into 2, that is 4. 
okay four is the lcm okay now you should equate the denominator four both four here already four is there that's why we just multiply with one and one you will get four here for three by two it is quite different by because in the denominator we have to make it four by we just multiply two two into two okay if you multiply two you'll get two right you'll get four right that's why multiplying both numerator and denominator with two now one into one 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 by four plus two three two is a six six by four already the denominator both are equal to four you can write like this four take common for here now the numerator one plus six you can write like this okay so you'll get seven by seven by four one plus six is seven seven by four that's it i hope you everyone understood how to do the lcm the same procedure i applied here all right uh, okay uh, if i give you like this x by 3 x by 3 plus 1 by 1 by 6 minus minus uh, z by minus z by 12 okay now what to do while given three terms okay x square here okay x square here z all right how can you do this ignore the numbers first you just do the lcm here 3 6 12 3 6 12 3 1 3 3 2 6 and uh, 3 4 12 now try with 2 1 2 now 2 1 1 1 okay you should equate to 1 here now 3 into 2 2 into 3 3 into 2 2 into 2 so you'll get 3 is a 4 2 to the 4 4 3 is a 12 now 12 is the lcm here 3 and 6 is 12 is there okay 12 is already there so we have to, we don't have to do anything for 3 and 6 we have to equate that for, uh, uh, to convert as 12 how to convert as 12 which number we should multiply with 3 you'll get 12 if you multiply with 4 on both numerator and denominator now 1 by 6 into if you multiply with 2 on both numerator and denominator and here z already 12 is there no need to take anything you just uh, take 1 and 1 okay now 4 into x cube that is 4 x cube 4 3 is 12 4 3 is 12 and uh, 1 into 2 that is 2 6 2 is 12 minus z into 1 that is z by 12 into 1 that is 12 now observe carefully that a denominator completely it is 12 shall i take that 12 is a common so the numerator you just write the same as usual plus 2 minus z okay so that is the answer we can't do anything so you just stop it stop it like this the same thing i have i did here guys the same thing i did here i just uh every time i can't write like uh you, you should equate to three on the denominator so that the, the, that's why i did directly try to understand but you have to apply the LCM like this. You just do the LCM like this. Okay. Yeah. Where we are. Okay. We are doing out of the syllabus 0 and 5. The third one. Third one. 0 and root 5. What is this 0? Sum they given 0. Sum of zeros. That is alpha plus beta is equal to 0 they given. And product of zeros. That is alpha into beta is equal to alpha into beta is equal to root 5 the given. Okay. All right. Let's write the formula x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta is equal to 0. Okay. Now, in the place of alpha plus beta, you just take 0 here. 0 into x. Alpha beta, you just take root 5. x square. 0 into anything. That is 0. So this complete part is zero plus root five is there. We just stop it here. We just stop it here. Zero into x that is zero. That's why I didn't write anything. So x square plus root five is left. All right. Now let's do the fourth one. Fourth one, they given sum of zeros. Alpha plus beta is equal to one and product product alpha into beta also one alpha into beta also one okay let's substitute in the normal equation x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta is equal to zero let's substitute carefully x square minus alpha beta is nothing but one into x plus one is equal to zero after rearranging x square minus x plus one is equal to zero this is our required polynomial they're asking all right I hope everyone understood. 
yeah still yeah i have seen that a lot of person i mean number of persons they are uh, they don't know how to uh, deal with the symbols okay they are doing while transferring symbols they are confusing okay so i have to take this here you are uh, in 10th class but still still some people struggling with uh, uh, doing symbols guys don't struggle i'm here to help you once again yeah okay let's take one example of 5 uh, 3 plus 5 plus 3 plus 5 minus 3 we have four operations okay minus 5 plus 3 minus 5 minus 3 okay so you can take like this all right okay sir what is this sir? so let's write 1 2 3 4 okay okay if you see first condition first condition if you see like symbols or else same symbols if you see same symbols you just do addition you just do addition if you see different symbol or opposite symbols opposite symbol same symbol is nothing but uh, either plus and plus and plus a uh, minus and minus like this opposite symbol you just do subtraction you just do subtraction here plus uh, plus and plus is there do one thing you just add the numbers 5 plus 3 that is 8 here also same symbol you just add ignore the minus first you just do addition 5 3 8 now the second step is very important step observe the bigger number and take that symbol here bigger number is 5 you just take the symbol plus here bigger number is 5 the symbol should be minus quite easy right quite easy okay what if i add if i add 5x 3x like this 5x 3x 5x 3x 5x 3x like this then obviously you will get 8x x here only thing is we are adding variable that's it okay sir we are already deal with the uh, like symbols like symbols are same symbols same symbols do addition and put the bigger number symbol bigger number symbol 5 here is that's why i taken minus now opposite symbol now opposite symbol you just do subtraction subtraction is about 5 minus 3 you'll get 2 here 2x 5 minus 3 that is 2x after that after that uh, writing the sub, doing the subtraction you just uh, take the symbols here the bigger number would be 5 so you just take plus here the bigger number is 5 so you just take minus you uh, you observe carefully so first i didn't mention any symbols here i didn't mention any symbols here first i do i did subtraction i did subtraction then i can assign the symbol the bigger number is 5 that's why i taken plus the big, bigger number is 5 that's why i taken minus here i hope everyone understood wha what type of operation operation on numbers operations on symbols okay okay you are in uh, grade 10 so don't do any simple mistakes the next time okay so you are my students so that's why uh, i'm not expecting to do any mistakes you should be strong in basics all right yeah uh, don't take it as personally so here uh, that's why I, i explained about lcm here and here also i explained about lcm how to make the denominator equal okay so the two concept i mean these are the basic concept you learned at 7th and 8th grade all right but still some people are struggling the with symbols and also taking lcm and everything that's why i just given some tips at to that part okay let's move on yeah where we are okay we are doing one sum and we are moving to the basic concept okay yeah uh, now fifth one let's start with the fifth one okay what is the given minus 1 by 4 and 1 by 4 okay sum of zero that is alpha plus beta the given minus 1 by 4 and product product that is alpha into beta the given 1 by 4 all right 1 by 4 mm, yeah so the same processor guys we just write the general say i mean standard form that is x square alpha plus beta into x plus alpha into beta is equal to 0 okay now let's substitute x square alpha into beta alpha plus beta the given sum of zeros that is minus 1 by 4 into x alpha beta the given 1 by 4 is equal to 0 now minus into minus plus 1 into x that is x by 4 plus 1 by 4 is equal to 
if nothing else you can take one as the uh, base here okay now the you now that's your part sir here the denominator is 4 and 4 here they are the denominator is not 4 then it is not 4 you should equate to 4 how to equate the 4 just now we discussed about the lcm okay just now we discussed about lcm how to make it at lcm let's do it here so x square by 1 if you multiply with 4 and both numerator denominator and x already 4 is there we just multiply 1 by 1 and already 4 is there you just multiply 1 and 1 okay so we are getting 4 into x square, you'll get 4x square plus x into 1, that is x. Okay. I just write 4 here by 4 plus 1 by 4 is equal to 0. Okay. Can I write like this? The total equation 4x square plus x plus 1 is equal to 0. If you transfer 4 to other side, cross multiply 4 into 0, that is 0. So finally, you'll get 4x square plus x plus 1 is equal to 0 is our required answer 4x square plus x plus 1 is equal to 0 is our required answer okay yeah not an easy task while solving be careful okay let's do with the last sum that is uh, sixth one 4 comma 1 sum of zeros sum of zeros that is alpha plus beta they given 4 and the product of zeros that is alpha into beta they given as 4 and 1 right 4 and 1 okay yeah before solving this sum i'll give you one question try to answer it okay first we'll we, we just complete this question okay okay let's write x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta is equal to zero let's substitute over there x square alpha plus beta they given as 4 4 into x alpha beta that is 1 so x square minus 4 into x that is minus 4x plus 1 is equal to zero that is our required polynomial equation that is what they are asking here find the quadratic polynomial so you just find like this and you just write x square minus 4x plus 1 is equal to 0 is our required polynomial. All right. Okay. Now it's time to. Um, I'll give you questions. Don't worry. I'm searching for the format. How you just write in terms of uh, for cubic polynomial. Okay. Let's understand that. Okay, let's understand the format of alpha plus beta plus gamma. Okay, I'll give you an equation, try to find it. Uh, okay, I'll give you an equation for cubic polynomial. Why? Because we solved only cubic polynomial few questions. Okay, so in the cubic polynomial, cubic polynomial that is uh, 3x cube minus 5x square plus 2x plus 9 is equal to 0. So that is my cubic polynomial. Find sum and the product of okay alpha, beta, gamma are three zeros. Are three zeros. Find sum and product of all the zeros. So this is your extra question I given to you. How to find? sum and the product and the sum of products sum of products what we have discussed about sum of zeros mm, let's see where it is yeah sum of zeros is nothing but alpha plus beta plus gamma sum of zeros that is alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to okay before solving this do one thing so you just identify, you just identify what is AB, A, A, B, C. Here, if you compare with the general form, that is AX, AX cube plus BX square plus CX plus D is equal to zero. All right. So in the place of A, what is there in the place of A? You can take X cube, X cube is same. And in the place of A, three is there. In the place of B, X square, X square is common. 
in the place of b minus 5 is there right yeah minus 5 in the place of c 2 is there in the place of d 9 is there all right first you need to write all those things with clear manner you just include the symbols also okay mm, now let's find the sum of zeros why because in the uh, examination they asking uh, cubic polynomial but in exercise part they didn't uh, mention any yeah they didn't given any polynomial equations of cubic polynomial that's why i give an example for you i mean this is extra extra, extra part sum of zero that is alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to minus b by a okay that is what we have learned alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to minus b by a okay now now alpha plus beta plus gamma minus b by a here minus b here is minus 5 a here is 3 so minus into minus plus 5 by 3 so 5 by 3 is the required sum of zeros similarly similarly you can find sum of product of zeros sum of product of zeros that is alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha is equal to c by a that is what we have learned okay c by a here c is 2 and a is 3 so c is 2 and a is 3 so alpha plus beta plus beta plus gamma alpha is equal to c by a that is 2 by 3 we got and now the third one is product of zeros product of zeros that is minus d by a product of zeros is nothing but alpha b alpha into beta into gamma is equal to minus d by a is nothing but here d here is 9 and a is 3 minus 9 by 3 so you will get after cancellation you will get minus 3 by 1 okay so you just find like this all right okay yeah so this is the uh, questions they in exercise sums they are not given but in exams they are asking like that okay don't think about uh, the all questions comes from exercise part only okay so it is a blind mistake yeah let's summarize the uh, uh, the total polynomial first we discuss the types of polynomial based on the degree if degree is one we call it as linear polynomial if degree is 2, we call it as quadratic polynomial. If degree is 3, we call it as cubic polynomial. Okay. And the quadratic polynomial x with real coefficient of x square, x square plus bx plus c. A, b, c are real number. A not equal to 0. This is what we learned. Here, ax square plus bx plus c is a standard form. Is a standard form. Okay. Yeah. Now, zeros of polynomial. Okay. Uh, how to find the zeros of polynomial? Observe the polynomial equation y is equal to p of x. It intersects at the x axis. Intersect is nothing but it is cutting at x axis. So we can find the take where it is uh, cutting the x axis. You can take that x. There's uh, those other zeros. All right. This is also we completed. And quadratic polynomial have at most two zeros. Quadratic polynomial is nothing but what is degree for quadratic polynomial? Anyone? Quadratic polynomial. Just now we discussed it, right? For if degree is two. We call it as quadratic polynomial. Okay. Then you how many for degrees two? So we have quadratic polynomial. Then how many zeros you can expect? At most two zeros. In MCQs, in MCQs, they're asking like this. All right. Yeah. Uh, for cubic polynomial, the most number of zeros is three. Cubic is nothing but three. The degree is three. That is why it has three zeros. Now, just now we discussed about alpha, beta zeros with the equation ax square plus bx plus c sum of zeros is called minus b by a and product of zeros is c by a while coming to cubic polynomial how many zeros three zeros just now we discussed at most three zeros the three zeros are alpha beta gamma all right so this is the general form ax square ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d and you can write the formula sum of zeros alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to minus b by a alpha beta beta gamma is c by a and Product of zeros is nothing but minus d by a. Okay, we already solved all the questions. Okay, I'll give you uh, one question. Mm. All right, so here one zero 
a polynomial p of x mm, p of x is p of x is 1 find the find the product of 1 of 1 0 polynomial equation okay uh, let's write like this one second guys i just prepared the question okay in cubic polynomial in cubic in cubic polynomial that is the cubic polynomial is ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d okay in cubic polynomial one of zero one of the zero is one find product of other zeros product of other zeros how to do this observe carefully the sum try to understand the uh, question if one zero they given in cubic polynomial how many zeros are there three zeros what are the three zeros alpha beta gamma all right and i already given one zero you just find the other zeros how to find other zeros think about it think about it okay i just change the equation uh like okay i'll give you the number then you don't confuse c plus d okay i just drop this part why because in the previous year asked question i mean covid time so the question here uh in i mean i have seen the previous year asked questions so the question they given like this 3x cube minus 2x square plus uh, plus 5x minus 7 is equal to 0 no minus not 7 minus 6 is equal to 0 all right Mm, alpha into beta c by a okay let's do one thing mm, here okay here it is 3x here also this is 3x i'm giving some random sum i mean i just change the sim i mean the numbers but the question is same one of zeros they given one and find the product of other zeros okay let's write the equation polynomial equation whatever they gain p of x is equal to 3x cube minus 2x square plus 3x minus 6 all right now you can identify what is abc here here you just compare with the general form that is ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d all right now compare with that then you can identify what is abc value abc value a here is 3 and b here is minus 2 why i am writing like you just identify later okay okay so this thing i think everyone knows and this step i think everyone right all right now okay read the condition one of the zeros i already given one okay here alpha beta gamma are the zeros alpha beta gamma are three zeros three zeros in there in there alpha already given as one alpha is equal to one we need to find product of other zeros beta into gamma we need to find now you'll get some idea okay sir we are getting some idea and how to find the uh, other two zeros there is nothing else how to find other zeros the product of product of other zeros they are asking product is nothing but beta into alpha okay now let's try with alpha i already given one let's write the sum of zeros sum of zeros is nothing but alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to minus b by a okay alpha in the question already the given one one plus beta plus gamma is equal to minus b by a is nothing but b here is minus 2 and a here is 3 minus of minus 2 by 3 so okay 1 plus beta plus gamma you will get minus into minus plus 2 by 3 all right now beta plus gamma is equal to pay attention everyone if you transfer one to other side you become minus 1 it become minus 1 now beta plus gamma is equal to if you take lcm 3 here 2 minus 3 so you are getting minus 1 by 3 now beta plus gamma is equal to minus 1 by 3 we are getting so they kept this as equation 1 equation 1 all right this is equation 1 what we need to find 
we need to find product of 2 0 that is beta into gamma we have to find but here we get beta into gamma sorry beta plus gamma we got now let's write sum of product of zeros this question is not there in your textbook but they asked in the exam if they want to prepare the hard type of paper then they asking the questions like this sum of product of zeros is nothing but c by a sum of product of zeros is nothing but alpha beta beta gamma plus gamma alpha is equal to c by a okay alpha already we know alpha is equal to 1 all right and that's why i substituted 1 here 1 into beta plus beta into gamma okay do one thing do one thing before writing the step do one thing so here alpha beta here is here a gamma alpha is there alpha is common right from both if you take alpha is common then you left with beta plus gamma and here plus beta gamma already there i just write it here in this two i'm taking common alpha is common that's why i'm taking like this c by a what is c value c value here is 3 and a is 3 3 by 3 okay alpha already 1 i mean one of the zero already they given the question beta gamma just now we got minus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 3 that's why i substituted minus 1 by 3 here and beta gamma is equal to 3 by 3 if you cancel further you'll get 1 okay 1 into minus 1 by 3 you'll get minus 1 by 3 plus beta gamma is equal to 1 if you transfer minus 1 by 3 to other side now beta gamma is equal to 1 plus 1 by 3 1 plus 1 by 3 all right now beta gamma is equal to 1 plus 1 by 3 is nothing but 4 by 3 so in the question they asked the in the question they asked the product of other two zeros the product of other two zeros beta gamma other two zeros the product is 4 by 3 we got okay okay i'll explain the question once again in cubic polynomial they given one, one uh, cubic polynomial here one of is zero is one and find the product of others other zeros one zero is nothing but in cubic polynomial three zeros are there alpha beta gamma all right so alpha beta gamma three zeros here alpha they given one and we need to find the product of two two other zero beta gamma beta gamma how to find beta gamma so initially i taken the first condition sum of zeros okay sum of zeros sum of product of zeros and product of zeros already we know that's why uh I take an alpha beta alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to minus b by a alpha already we know and beta plus gamma uh, which are substituted here if we uh, cross multiply the beta plus gamma is equal to minus 1 by 3 we got and uh, sum of product of zeros that is uh, alpha beta beta gamma plus gamma alpha is equal to c by a so here alpha beta and alpha gamma here alpha is common that's why i take an beta gamma okay we need to find this one beta plus gamma uh beta plus gamma in the previous one we got minus 1 by 3 that's why i'm substituting here minus 1 by 3 okay if you transfer minus 1 by 3 to other side it become 1 plus 1 by 3 so beta gamma is equal to 4 by 3 we got so the product of product of other zeros is 4 by 3 i hope everyone understood yeah so that's it so these are the models and also previous asked questions also i discussed it here and nowhere discussed the previous asked question and what are what are the type of questions they generally ask in question you people generally uh, practice the ex exercise sums and also example sums that's enough i think i mean for model paper or else moderate paper simple paper and moderate paper in your main exam but when it comes to uh, if they are given like hard paper or medium paper they they ask the question like this for four mark question three mark question like this okay yeah be prepared accordingly that's why i just mentioned this question this question already asked okay all right so that's the end of our session and we just completed the polynomial uh, lesson and in the next session we just come up with a uh, new chapter don't worry all right before that yeah i just end up here before that do one thing you just practice more question you just practice more question and also uh see the uh, previously asked question you already learned uh, see the all the recording session do one thing you just see the all the previous asked question compare with that what type of question they are asking now assess yourself you are able to do it or not you are able to do it or not okay if you are good at concept whatever the question paper whatever they given 
so you can easily solve each and every question okay so first uh, i already summarized all the session about the polynomial equation let's come up with a new session a uh, new topic with the next session okay i just end up here guys thanks for being here and participating in, in every question okay uh, let's meet on the next session yeah keep learning and keep safe at your home and keep practic practicing okay bye bye everyone uh, have a good day Thank you.